Hello, welcome to Channel 6 Action News. I'm Haley Justin. I'm Brianna Torrey. I'm Angela Stevenson. And, and we're bringing the news to you. For all of you adventurous vacation people out there, we have just the place for you to go visit. That's right. Angela and I just recently took a trip to the rainforest in Australia. It was a phenomenal trip. We were so pleased with the scenery, wildlife, and the atmosphere that we decided to spend our time sharing the information with you so you can learn more about these somewhat unheard of places. In the tropical rainforest, the temperature stays between 68 and 90 degrees Fahrenheit year-round. Rainfall is often more than 100 inches a year. They are located near the equator, which means there's more direct sunlight hitting the land, resulting in high temperatures. Okay, so it's hot, but it rains a lot. So what should I wear? When I was there, I wore shorts and a t-shirt, but I made sure I always had my rain gear with me. Hmm. Well, okay, so if I didn't want to go to Australia like you guys did, is there anyone else I could go? Oh, no problem. There are rainforests in Central America, Africa, Southern Asia, and Brazil. Sadly, the rainforest now only covers 6% of the Earth's land surface. Oh, no. Well, if I wanted to go to Brazil, how would I get there? By plane, of course. And once you're there, you can travel by foot or by safari deep. Oh, wow. How much does it cost to go there? It costs about $885 round trip. But you pretty much get all your money back when you're there because you don't need any money during your stay. You can either build your own shelter or save the locals who build their huts out of fallen branches and tree leaves. Gee whiz! Is there anything I should be aware of on this magnificent trip? There are some ecological problems such as earthquakes that you should be prepared for. But there's also deforestation going on, which is a result of humans cutting down trees. This is a major problem because the rainforest produced more than 40% of the Earth's oxygen. Oh no! Okay, so forget about that. What could I do when I was there? Many different things. Anything that nature offers you, such as tree climbing, bird watching, or exploring the canopy or the understory. And you can identify all the new and different species that the rainforest occupies. Wowza! That's a lot of things to do! While I'm exploring, what kind of plants and animals could I see? Well, you might see a golden lion tamarind, a toucan, or you could possibly have a rare chance to discover a new species. There's not only interesting animal species, but also extravagant plants such as epiphytes, bromelads, ferns, evergreens, and vines. My personal favorite are the orchids. Good golly! Are any of these plants or animals edible? Of course! The trees grow beautiful apricot tomatoes, custard apples, date plums, and much more. That sounds great! Well, this trip sounds like it could be the experience of a lifetime. Thank you for sharing your journey with us today. Well, that's all for today, folks. See you next time on Channel 6 News.